It's still early in the season, but Yellowstone National Park has already seen several concerning interactions involving visitors and wildlife. Yellowstone? Deep beneath the peaceful landscapes of Yellowstone National Park, a series of powerful tremors have been steadily growing. This serene park, known for its stunning beauty and diverse wildlife, hides a tale of geological unrest. Recent earthquakes have added new chapters to the complex story of Yellowstone's geology. But what can these seismic events teach us about the secrets that lie beneath the park's surface? Is there a hidden world of geological activity waiting to be discovered? Let's find out. The recent seismic swarm in Yellowstone National Park has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, capturing people's attention worldwide. As the tremors intensify and earthquakes rattle the serene landscapes, questions of a potential volcanic eruption emerge. The dramatic display of these seismic events, coupled with the lingering fears of the park's dormant supervolcano, has sparked a sense of urgency and interest among people eager to resolve the mysteries beneath Yellowstone's attractive surface. Before we dive deeper, let's rewind for a moment. Yellowstone National Park covers a vast area across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It is a haven of natural wonders, with over 2.2 million acres of diverse plants and animals, including iconic species like grizzly bears, wolves, bison, and elk. But what truly makes Yellowstone special is its unique geological features. Underneath the park's tranquil exterior is one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. The Earth's crust is thinner here than almost anywhere else, allowing molten rock called magma to be closer to the surface. This dynamic geology has created a dazzling array of geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles, including the famous Old Faithful Geyser. Yellowstone is home to over 300 active geysers, more than anywhere else on Earth, showcasing its remarkable geothermal energy. However, the real gem of Yellowstone's geology is the dormant supervolcano beneath its rugged terrain. A supervolcano is much more powerful than a regular volcano, with over a thousand times greater eruptions. The Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted around 640,000 years ago, leaving behind a massive depression known as the Yellowstone Caldera. This scar-like feature is evidence of the eruption that shook this landscape long ago. This is an example of a hydrothermal explosion, a relatively small one, but this is one of the hazards that we have in Yellowstone. Hold on, because the best part is coming up. Established in 1872, Yellowstone National Park was the world's first national park and inspired the creation of many others worldwide. Its unique combination of natural beauty, abundant wildlife, and fascinating geology has made it a favorite destination for naturalists, adventurers, and geologists. It is a place where you can admire a stunning sunset over the Lamar Valley while contemplating the tremendous forces beneath your feet. But Yellowstone's charm goes beyond its physical wonders. It has a rich cultural history that dates back over 11,000 years. Various Native American tribes, such as the Shoshone, Bannock, Blackfeet, and Crow, have called this region home for centuries, with their lives intricately connected to the land. Yellowstone's cultural heritage was further enriched by the arrival of European explorers, fur trappers, and settlers in the 19th century. Their influence can still be seen in the park's historic structures, like the Old Faithful Inn, Preserving Yellowstone's exceptional biodiversity and geological wonders for future generations is a top priority. The park's comprehensive conservation efforts aim to protect its delicate balance between humans and nature. These efforts ensure its diverse ecosystem survival and its geological marvels preservation. But how do we understand the seismic activities of Yellowstone? Buckle up, because things are about to get wild. To understand the recent seismic activities of Yellowstone, we must first talk about the nature of earthquakes. Earthquakes occur when there is movement of the Earth's gigantic puzzle-like pieces called tectonic plates. This movement creates geological features such as mountains, trenches, volcanoes, and earthquakes. The most common effect of this movement is volcanoes. Volcanoes come in many different shapes and sizes, 
but are most commonly cone-shaped hills or mountains. They are found worldwide, forming ridges deep below the sea surface and mountains thousands of meters high. About 1,900 volcanoes on Earth are considered active, meaning they show occasional activity and are likely to erupt again. Many others are dormant volcanoes, showing no signs of exploding, but are likely to become active at some point. I bet you didn't see that coming. Volcanoes are incredibly powerful agents of change. Eruptions can create new landforms, but can also destroy everything in their path. About 350 million people, or about one out of every 20 people in the world, live within the danger range of an active volcano. Volcanologists closely monitor volcanoes to better predict impending eruptions and prepare nearby populations for potential volcanic hazards that could endanger their safety. Most earthquakes happen along the plate boundaries, where tension accumulates over time. When the stress exceeds a certain point, the rocks break, releasing built-up energy through seismic waves that shake the ground. The earthquakes reveal unique geological processes in regions like Yellowstone, which are far from plate boundaries. The park's famous supervolcano, or more precisely, the hotspot that powers it, is the culprit behind these earthquakes. A hotspot is a plume of hot material rising deep within the Earth's mantle. In Yellowstone, this hotspot has created intense volcanic and seismic activity. But contrary to the view that these disasters signify the end of the world, they are just natural disasters that have occurred in the past and would likely occur sometime in the future. However, not all earthquakes are the same. They vary in frequency, intensity, and depth. Each characteristic provides clues about the Earth's internal processes. Scientists measure earthquakes using the Richter scale, which assigns a magnitude, and the modified Mercalli scale, which assesses the shaking intensity and the damage caused at specific locations. Seismic activity hints at unique geological processes in areas like Yellowstone, far from plate boundaries. The park experiences between 700 and 3,000 earthquakes yearly, although most are too weak to be felt by humans. These frequent, low-magnitude tremors result from the geothermal forces beneath the park's surface. They remind us of the simmering volatility of Yellowstone and play a role in maintaining the rhythmic eruption of geysers, such as the famous Old Faithful. Yellowstone's seismic activity occasionally goes beyond its regular pattern, creating an earthquake swarm. An earthquake swarm is a sequence of tremors in rapid succession, originating from the same location. Unlike typical earthquakes, which have a noticeable main shock followed by smaller aftershocks, Swarms consist of many earthquakes of similar size. These events often trigger speculation and concern due to their potential association with volcanic activity. Within this interplay of crustal movements, magma intrusions, and geothermal marvels lies the recent seismic swarm in Yellowstone. These tremors have resonated beneath the park for months, giving the ground an unusual rhythm. Do you want to understand the implications of this situation? Keep watching to find out. Could these earthquakes be a sign of an impending volcanic eruption? Stick around until the end for a surprise twist. It is important to remember that seismic swarms, although intense, are not unusual in Yellowstone. Similar episodes have occurred in the past without leading to volcanic eruptions. Understanding the messages these earthquakes convey falls on the capable shoulders of geologists and seismologists. With advanced tools and technologies, these scientists tirelessly investigate the seismic swarm, unraveling the mysteries deep within Yellowstone's beautiful landscapes. They analyze seismic waves from earthquakes, which slow down, speed up, or change direction when encountering different materials like magma or rocks. These variations create seismic shadows that provide insights into subsurface geological structures and processes. While earthquakes may carry the connotation of destruction, it is essential to note that seismic activity is a regular occurrence in Yellowstone. By interpreting these signals, researchers have discovered a vast magma reservoir beneath the park and the known shallow magma chamber. This discovery was made possible by analyzing seismic waves from earthquakes. Despite the fears associated with earthquakes, 
It is important to understand that the recent seismic swarm in Yellowstone has not triggered significant changes in the subsurface magma reservoir or the caldera's ground deformation. These are key indicators that would suggest the awakening of the dormant supervolcano. Instead, the earthquakes seem to demonstrate the park's dynamic geothermal systems, responding to internal pressure changes while maintaining a delicate balance. Though the geological implications of the swarm are not fully understood yet, it offers an exceptional learning opportunity. The data derived from this unusual seismic activity is a goldmine for scientists eager to solve the complicated geology of Yellowstone. Every tremor and shake provides new insights into the hidden processes that shape one of Earth's most geothermally active regions. While the notion of a supervolcanic eruption may strike terror, it is important to acknowledge that such an event, based on our current understanding, is highly unlikely within our lifetimes. Yellowstone's long history suggests that major eruptions are infrequent, with hundreds of thousands of years separating each event. Furthermore, most volcanic activity in Yellowstone over recent millennia has been non-explosive, characterized by slow lava flows within the caldera. Analyzing these seismic events has revealed that most of them are hydrothermal in origin, more closely related to the park's geysers and hot springs than to the feared supervolcano. This suggests that the current seismic swarm could represent changes in Yellowstone's hydrothermal systems rather than a precursor to volcanic doom. However, while the risk of a supervolcanic eruption may be low, Yellowstone still possesses localized hazards. Minor volcanic eruptions, hydrothermal explosions, landslides and earthquakes can pose risks within the park and its immediate surroundings. Are we living on borrowed time? Could the tremors beneath Yellowstone's surface be a forewarning of an explosive volcanic eruption? Keep watching to satisfy your curiosity. So, how do the park officials safeguard Yellowstone's geological heritage? To serve as the guardians and interpreters of Yellowstone's geology, geoscientists and park officials work tirelessly behind the scenes. These dedicated individuals collect and analyze data using advanced technology and methodologies. By deploying seismographs and GPS stations, they record earthquakes, measure ground movements, analyze gas emissions, and study geysers and hot springs changes. They piece together crucial information about Yellowstone's complex geology. In addition to their scientific work, geoscientists and park officials educate the public, translating complex geological processes into understandable terms. They provide regular updates, dispel misconceptions, and address concerns, ensuring visitors have accurate information about Yellowstone's geological activities. By doing so, they promote safety, respect, and a deeper understanding of the geological wonders within the park. The role of park officials is equally important. They manage the park's natural resources, ensure visitor safety, and facilitate scientific research. Park officials observe changes in Yellowstone's landscapes and relay important information to geoscientists. They implement safety measures, close areas when necessary, and educate visitors about the park's geological hazards. Their efforts help maintain a harmonious balance between human activity and nature's power. The work of geoscientists and park officials is not accomplished in isolation. They rely on the support and cooperation of visitors, local communities, and institutions worldwide. By respecting guidelines, contributing to research efforts, and sharing accurate information, we can all play a role in understanding and preserving Yellowstone's unique geology for future generations. While the seismic concert beneath Yellowstone captures our imagination, it is important to appreciate our planet's immense power and beauty. Yellowstone's seismic symphony is a call to action, an invitation to explore, learn, and contribute to the sustainable coexistence of humanity and nature. These insights can guide us in managing the park's natural resources, mitigating potential hazards, and preserving its rich geological heritage. Let us venture further into the details of this captivating geological narrative. The recent swarm of earthquakes in Yellowstone has sparked widespread interest and concern among scientists and the general public. While the swarm is indeed a remarkable event, 
it is important to approach it with clarity and scientific understanding. Seismic swarms are not unprecedented in Yellowstone's history. Similar episodes have occurred before without resulting in volcanic eruptions. Therefore, it is important to refrain from jumping to conclusions about the possibility of an imminent catastrophic eruption. Although mesmerizing, the ongoing swarm of tremors does not currently indicate a significant change in Yellowstone's subsurface magma reservoir. Scientists and seismologists closely monitor ground deformation patterns, gas emissions, and seismic activity to track potential volcanic activity. So far, no evidence suggests that a volcanic eruption is imminent or even likely shortly. While the potential risks associated with a supervolcanic eruption at Yellowstone cannot be completely ruled out, it is essential to emphasize that such an event is highly unlikely in the foreseeable future. The park's prolonged periods of dormancy between major eruptions, coupled with the predominantly non-explosive volcanic activity over the last millennia, provide a context for understanding the low probability of a catastrophic eruption. Furthermore, the recent seismic swarm primarily relates to hydrothermal systems within the park, rather than magma movement. Hydrothermal systems, including geysers, hot springs, and mud pots, are driven by the interaction of circulating water and heat from the underlying magma. Changes in these systems can lead to localized seismic activity, which is likely the case with the current swarm. These events indicate natural adjustments and variations within Yellowstone's geothermal features rather than precursors to a volcanic eruption. While the risk of a catastrophic eruption remains low, localized hazards within Yellowstone exist. Minor volcanic eruptions, hydrothermal explosions, landslides, and earthquakes can threaten the park and its surroundings. It is crucial to continuously monitor and evaluate these hazards to ensure visitor safety and maintain the delicate balance of coexistence between humanity and the park's geological forces. To mitigate these risks effectively, a robust system of monitoring and research is in place in Yellowstone. Geoscientists, park officials, and the wider scientific community collaborate to gather and analyze data, interpret geological processes, and assess potential threats. Advanced technologies such as seismographs, GPS stations, gas analyzers, and thermal imaging cameras provide valuable information about the park's geology and enable early detection of volcanic or hydrothermal activity changes. Armed with this scientific understanding, geoscientists and park officials play a crucial role in educating the public about Yellowstone's geology and dispelling fears and misconceptions. Visitor centers, guided tours, public presentations, and informational materials provide accurate and accessible information about the park's unique geological features, including the recent seismic swarm. They promote responsible engagement with this dynamic natural environment by fostering understanding and awareness. The responsibility to protect and preserve Yellowstone's geological wonders extends beyond the park's boundaries. Collaboration with local communities, neighboring states, and global institutions is vital in addressing the park's dynamic geology challenges. By sharing knowledge, resources, and expertise, we can enhance scientific research, develop effective risk management strategies, and foster a broader sense of stewardship for this globally significant natural treasure. Yellowstone National Park is a testament to the extraordinary diversity and power of our planet's geological forces. Its breathtaking landscapes, rich biodiversity, and active volcanic system form natural wonders that captivate and inspire us. Seismic activity in Yellowstone, including the recent earthquakes, offers glimpses into the hidden processes at play beneath the surface. Through scientific study, continuous monitoring, and collaborative efforts, we gain valuable insights into the park's geology, mitigate potential risks, and ensure the responsible coexistence of humanity and nature. Thank you for watching till the end. We will see you next time.